I'm Sophie Tweed Simmons. You're watching Cosmopolitan.com, and today my dad, Gene Simmons, is going to show you how to do his legendary kiss makeup on me. And let's get started. <laughs> if you want the real kiss face, you start off with Stein's Clown White. Just go to any sort of costume Halloween shop, you'll get some of this. So, initially, what you want to do is to have an even coat. <gasps> now, go, um, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Close your eyes? Yeah. Coat, mm? <laughs> mm? And then we get a nice chin line. And you can cheat a little bit by being above the chin. You can see on the bottom that line isn't straight. This feels like most girls Saturday night with foundation. What you want to do is to get all the excess schmutz, French word, off of your hand, and then you revert to the pencil that you like best. And then, because I'm doing it on Sophie's face, I'm gonna lean one hand on top of something. Usually what I would do is lean, because you need a straight line. So, initially, you wanna put some dots as like a paint by number set so you can get straighter lines and then connect the lines. Now remember, this is just a sketch and later you have time to kind of refine it. Then you're doing this. Okay, now we need a widow's peak. These lines are a little messy right now, but we will fix them later. Now, you can take the back of this pencil, and if the white doesn't quite go into the hairline enough, I'll just do this. You notice it moves up on a thinner, and it's a more even line. And this is where this comes in. So you put this here, and you start to clean the inside, I beg your pardon. Now you notice as I'm doing that, the line cleans up. eBay. We want to clean the inside because the inside is going to be filled with black. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You can always add white over it and straighten it out, which is what I'm going to do now. Any size brush that you think you can work with. One note is you've really got to try to figure out how to get all the hair out of your face, so you may want to use some clips. Okay, so you can put the powder right on the table, and you really don't need a lot. Okay, shut your eyes. First, you do it lightly, and then keep doing it stronger. Okay, then, we remove, you don't have to breathe if you don't want to, remove the inside lightly. Almost any brush will do. Borrow grandpa's uh, thing that he says, mm. doesn't matter. Now that's one side. Now we take another pencil and we try, most difficult part, to mirror the side that we see on the opposite side. And start off just with a sketch. This, this whole thing started off pretty naturally. Uh, on 10 East 23rd Street, we were putting a band together and we wanted to put together the band that we never saw on stage. And one day we said, well, why don't we wear makeup? And then everybody in the band 
put together their own designs. And mine was a culmination of kind of my fascination with horror movies, sci-fi, and all that stuff. So it's probably a combination of Phantom of the Opera, sort of Batman, and all that stuff that girls think is silly. Okay, so you notice that these two lines are on the same level. So if you're not used to having your eyes trained, you notice that the tip of that should be about there and seems to be touching that. So just mirror that by saying, oh, that's where that tip should be. Now remember, you cannot make a mistake. You can always come back in and redraw it. Because I'm backwards, I have more control going up. If you were doing it on your face, you would probably go down. An interesting thing I learned through the years is, if you want to remove a lot and fast, as you keep going down, you keep twirling it. So I'm going to remove and keep twirling backwards, not frontwards so that the entire Q-tip is done. Okay, you notice how that improved that line right away. Starting from here, where the eye is, we're going to go up and do a swoop. And connect that. You should know that this process takes me about two hours. You can do it in under an hour if you do it this way. Okay, now let's take a look and refine. That looks fairly even, and you want perspective, so you want to move back. Let's try to make this even more even now. So now, we're going to take more powder and just pat that down. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hold your breath. Maybe it's on purpose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there may be a few bumps along the way, although my daughter's got flawless skin, but right up here, you notice there's a little bump, so you can take the back of this and just like a roller, you can use that to kind of push it in and flatten it out. Remember, it doesn't smear anymore because it's got stuff on. By the way, I'm just hitting my daughter in the head. I'm doing nothing. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Now we're going to fix a few. It's always about fixing, fixing, and more fixing. Notice over here on the nose. You can put the white down and just go right down the bridge of the nose. What I usually do at this point is grab a drink, just sit back, take a look at it, because no matter how long you take a look at it, when you're on stage or when people are looking at you, they're looking at you all the time. Now, we go to black. This is the Ben Nye Cream Colors CL29 Black. You want a very thin brush. Uh, this is Namie's number two. And the way you put on your black is you want to go around and just twirl it around so that your tip is sort of sharpened. All the paint is on the outside. And we just follow the stencil. And one continuous motion, even if you run out of paint. Always one continuous motion to the bottom of the design. Now I'm going to get rid of that mistake. Watch this. Take the back of the brush, take a little wad, and it's gone. Genius. Go back to what you know, which is just a little dab, roll it around. We go to the point, one continuous motion, one continuous line all the way to the bottom, one continuous motion.
From far away, that looks like a really good design. As you come in closer, you notice the lines have some bumps in them and some irregularities, and now you want to come close and even out those lines and make sure that the perspective is right because, you know, the nose is curved and as your, your, your face is curved, so you want that line to have that effect even if you're lifting your chin. When you have white in the black area, take a little of that, dab it lightly. Okay, now we're going to draw some black lips on you. Is this the first time? Okay, just regular mouth. What I'd like you to do is to take a mirror and paint in your lips and do the sides as you like it. You can do it without a uh, thing? Really? That's very impressive. You can do that without looking in the mirror. You are my daughter after all. Did you do it? No. Because it, in the middle? it goes much deeper. That's pretty damn good. It's no, much further in than you'd go with any lipstick. Yes. Because when you go, you know, like that, you mm -hmm. actually, because mostly you guys, yeah. So the very last thing I do is I take red lifesavers and I swirl it around in my mouth for half an hour so that when I stick my tongue out, it's blood red. Of course, you have to do the hair a certain way. <laughs> oh, God. You want to do it? In the days before I put powder onto the makeup, the hair would get in my face and stick to it. So I just started to put my hair up. And then it caught on. And then I pulled this to the front. Ow. So can you pull that to the front? You want to look in the mirror? You want to make me look like a pony. Yeah. Like a Spartan warrior. That looks, that's my daughter. And that's a wrap. Sophie hasn't seen herself yet, so here's the big reveal. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Let's show them what we got. I mean, you really did it. Ready? I told you mine's really small. <laughs> <laughs>